Gentle reminder, protection is essential to the preservation of your life while manifestation is key to the achievement of your goals. Disclaimer, gemstones are not a medical device and do not substitute medical treatment. They can enhance your healing and provide additional support to assist you during physical, emotional, mental, and kundalini healing times. If your gemstone's energies is too strong or overworking, take it off immediately and only wear it in moderation. Without further ado, let's get into this crystal composition. Crystal Kids and Enthusiasts alike, and welcome to Crystal Physics, hosted by yours truly, LYC, also known, properly known, formerly known as Lana Yasmin. To tell you a bit about the series before we dive in, physics is the study of matter and how it behaves. Crystal Physics, a term newly created by me, is the study of crystal energy and how it behaves within the body. This series is designed to help anyone who's interested in gemstones learn more about the kundalini, mental, spiritual, and emotional properties of these stones. I will also be mentioning some correspondence, affirmations, health benefits, but please don't get crystals confused with medical devices, as well as fun facts. This is a come as you are series, therefore I will be coming as comfy as I like. That's why I'm wrapped up in a blanket right now, and I encourage you to do the same. Please use the comments to not only get clarity on these stones, but to also share your experiences with these stones. We're trying to build a nice little interconnected, tight-knit family, y'all. And the only way to do that is if y'all talk to each other. To learn and listen more about the physical properties of these stones, go on ahead into the description and click the link. And it'll take you right on over to Medium, which is actually an app. A publication app at that and it's the new home of the LYC crystal dictionary so what you're gonna do is you're gonna open up your little medium app go on over to our, our little site on their app and then you're going to go look at whatever crystal you want to click the play button and boom now you can listen you could just listen and learn baby you can listen and learn tell me that ain't fine anyways with all that being said let's talk about rutilated quartz rutilated quartz also known as venus's hair stone has a big three that consists of psychic abilities balance and protection before we get into anything let's get into these correspondence rutilated quartz corresponds with all of the chakras it has both a projective and a receptive energy meaning not only does it give you energy but it can take that negative energy right on away from you and store it within itself its corresponding planet is the sun. Its corresponding elements are air and fire. Corresponding zodiacs are Taurus, Gemini, and Leo. Big Leo gang, y'all already know. And its vibrational numbers are four and six. So the number of stability and the number of unconditional love. The spiritual properties of rutilated quartz include helping align your journey. It enhances your psychic abilities. It's a tool for enlightening the soul, promotes spiritual growth and creative power. It is said to have the perfect balance of cosmic light. It's powerful for setting intentions and manifestations. It helps you to connect to higher realms through meditation. It allows you to release past issues and resistance you may have encountered on your spiritual path. The mental properties of rutilated quartz include aiding in self-control, increasing mental clarity, enhancing independence. It amplifies the energy of thoughts. It increases mental clarity, creativity, and concentration. The emotional properties of rutilated quartz include soothing dark mood. It enhances deep relaxation, relieves fears, phobias, and anxieties. It lifts your mood and promotes positivity. It's great to use when you need to stabilize your relationship and love. The Kundalini properties of rutilated quartz include energizing the chakras. It's an efficient vibrational healer, cleansing and energizing the aura. It links the root and the crown chakras. It infuses the body with divine. It infuses the body with divine light and energy. It removes negative emotions and purifies toxic thoughts. It removes negative energy and purifies toxic thoughts. The health benefits of rutilated quartz include, and please remember that these do not substitute medical devices. It enhances immunity. It quickens injury recovery. 
It can act as an antidepressant, aids in exhaustion and lack of energy. It stimulates cell regeneration and repairs torn tissue. It's helpful for chronic conditions, impotence, and infertility. It treats the respiratory tract and bronchitis. It stimulates and balances the thyroid. It absorbs mercury poisoning from the nerves, muscles, blood, and the intestinal tract. Some fun facts about rutilated quartz include it has a few nicknames including angel hairstone cupid's darts fleches de amor which is a french term for arrows of love other varieties include venus hairstone which is actually specifically rutilated quartz but with gold rutile inclusions you have the star rutile quartz which is a rutilated quartz with six groups of inclusions they extend out from the center and form a star shape and you got rutilated smoky quartz which when radioactive elements are present during the formation of rutilated quartz they become brown or gray and this creates rutilated smoky quartz there are five types of rutile. Silver rutile will enhance your mental energy. Green rutile protects the mind. Black rutile enhances your intuition. Blue rutile will balance your energy and promote relaxation. Golden rutile links you to your divine power. Many people call rutilated quartz hair of the angels after the shimmers of the hairs in the stone. Other groups may have attached it to a specific goddess, like the ancient Greeks made it the hair of Venus or the hair of Aphrodite in honor of their goddesses of beauty and love. During the Middle Ages, Vikings believed Rutile came from Freya, which is their lady sovereign. Freya is one of the most central goddesses in the, North, in the Norse mythology. According to ancient mythology, if a part of a god was detached, it wouldn't die. Instead, it would become preserved either magically by transforming or being transformed into other mythical creatures. In the case of rutilated quartz, by chance, um, legends claim that golden strands of a goddess's hair have fell out have fell out of her head and they have preserved themselves by becoming quartz stone. Rutile comes from the Latin word rutilis, which means reddish. But rutile inclusions are not always red, but the first rutile that discovered was actually red. It went by Red Scroll, which is, you know, the name for tourmaline, um, for a few decades before it was renamed Rutile. Rutile is a major ore for titanium. This is a metal used for high-tech high -tech alloys. It often forms needle-like inclusions within the crystal. Rutilated quartz has been used as a gemstone or an ornamental and religious object for thousands of years now. Last but not least, let's get into these affirmations. Don't forget your deep breath. Mm. I am a beacon of light. I easily and clearly visualize what I would like to manifest. My aura is cleansed and energized. Negative energy falls off of me. That is it. That is all. Thank you guys so much for tuning into this episode of Crystal Physics. Day two out of 31 days of crystals down. 29 days to go. I thank you guys so, so much for tuning into this episode. Please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to talk about however you feel about this crystal in the comments. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye.